Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Peter. So from today onward, we will start our video tutorial series on MBC. So uh, we will go through the different concept of MBC while creating a simple MBC applications. We will learn about the different concepts which are used while developing an MBC application in ASP.NET. So let's start from here. So uh, make sure that you have installed Visual Studio on your machine. Uh, you can use any version of Visual Studio. Uh, right now, uh, I am using Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition, which is free for the development. So uh, first of all, uh, click on uh, your Visual Studio icon. Okay, so uh, this is the start page of uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. We will go to file menu then click on new and then select project in the left hand section you can see there are uh, different language code which is provided by uh, visual studio so we will select here visual c sharp and uh, the template will be asp.net web applications here you have to browse the location where you want to save your MVC application project. So click on browse here and select the folder where you want to save your project. Then enter the name of your application. So I'm going to here MVC. Then click on OK button. Now you can see here that uh, there are different templates uh, which are provided by uh, Visual Studio. You can create an MPT applications, you can create platform applications, an MPC template, web API, a single page application, or Azure API app. As we will create a sample MBC application, so you can see on the right hand side it is mentioning that a project template for creating ASP.NET MBC application. And uh, authentication is uh, like no authentication uh, right now here. You can change the authentication if it is required. And you can add a unit test project for your project uh, if you uh, want to create a unit test project. Uh, so right now I am leaving this option. So we are just selecting MBC from here and then click on OK button. So Microsoft Visual Studio is creating a sample MBC application for you. So it will take a few minutes. So here we can see that uh, on Solution Explorer, a simple MBC web application has been created uh, by Microsoft Visual Studio. So uh, before uh, going to the project structure, let's try to run this application in browser. So uh, uh, for that, uh, you can select any of the browser. Google Chrome as the default browser and then click on set as default and then click the option browse. So this, you can see here on the taskbar that is this is the uh, web server which is uh, now uh, opening our MVC applications and uh, on the top there is the port number which is 
uh, assigned dynamically. So here you can see that uh, this is a sample uh, web application uh, which is created by Microsoft Business Studio for our MBC project. Now uh, let's go to its project structure here. So you can see that uh, uh, MBC stands for Model View and Controller. So uh, you can see that uh, uh, Visual Studio has created a separate folder for that. Uh, this is your model folder. So you can add a uh, model classes here for your project. Second is the controller folder. You can expand that. And by default, it has created one controller that is home controller here. And third is your view, right? So uh, this is the basic project structure which is uh, created by uh, Microsoft for your uh, sample MVC application. So uh, this is all uh, we have in this uh, particular video. In the next video we will uh, go in depth of uh, these, uh, this particular folder structure and we will try to understand what are the rules of model view and controller in the next videos tutorials. So hope you like this video and thanks for watching this.